$2 million in July, beating Trump handily. But Trump is doing better at small donations. Though more difficult, more expensive to get, last month Trump doubled the percentage of Clinton in small donations, those under $200, those $200 or less. But the Clinton staff remains a juggernaut. At just 82 people, the smaller Trump staff continues to depend on consultant spending, while Clinton has a team of over 700 spread out across the country. Spending on the airways is no different to date. $61 million for the Democrat, over $100 million, including super PACs. Donald Trump just made his first ad buy Friday for $4 million. In Hillary Clinton's America, the system stays rigged against Americans. Syrian refugees flood in. Illegal immigrants convicted of committing crimes get to stay, collecting Social Security benefits, skipping the line. Our border open, it's more of the same, but worse. Let's bring back Jay Newton Small, Hari Savugan, and O'Brien Murray. Hari, we'll start with this on this one. Uh, Clinton also has a huge advantage of cash on hand. It's almost double yeah. that of Trump's at the moment. How, how can she spend to keep her lead here? Does she now raise down ballot to swing some of those Senate races? Yeah, well, I think she's going to be very smart and strategic about how she spends, where, you know, where the electoral map needs to go and where she can have a governing majority in the Congress. I think the really interesting thing here in, in these reports today is where Donald Trump has spent his money. Uh, he has spent $7.7 .7 million on Trump organization and Trump family businesses. That's seven and a half million or seven point seven million dollars on himself compared to four million dollars on TV. If I'm a Republican donor and I see that, there's no reason for me to give to Donald Trump. If you're looking at also those numbers here, O'Brien, most of the spending has been on consultants, not on headcount, as I was, I was just saying. Still looking at those hired guns that are out there. What, what's the idea well, behind that? Anyone that works in a campaign is getting paid, whether they're paid as a consultant based on what their job is and what they're doing or sure. they're on the staff. The RNC's got their staff. I think where Hillary has the edge on this one, though, is in the field staff. Mm -hmm. And that comes to where you got to spend money. We've talked about that on set before. Yeah, yeah. Where early voting starts up, we have to get out there and do that. The state parties are going to be really stepping up right now and fixing that quite a bit going forward. Kellyanne talked about it this morning, the campaign manager now that's been there a week, what they're going to do to start expanding the base of what they're going to do for targeted uh, states for electoral college votes. Uh, but Hillary, you know, talk about what she can do for races going forward. I touched upon this earlier this hour. Her issue, frankly, is going to be a 50% number right now. When you've got a Green Party candidate and you did an interview with, uh, with Johnson, Governor Johnson there, those numbers are going to really hurt her with a mandate situation. So both where she spends her money is going to be very important for her. And both candidates are watching that just because it may be very close in these swing states that we've been looking at in terms of the polls. Uh, you know, when we look at this, Jay, uh, as a part of this, the Republican versus Democrat fundraising stereotype, it, it, it switched here. Uh, Clinton has small donations uh, are small and Trump's small donations are big. <laughs> it is. It's certainly a unique cycle. Uh, this is yet another reason why it's been a unique cycle <laughs> this entire time. Um, I, I agree, though, uh, with um, O'Brien in, in that the, the biggest sort of risk I think here for Trump is really the ground game. And, and Hillary has more offices in Ohio alone than Donald Trump has in national staff. And the ad spending, um, absolutely large at $61 million for the Clinton campaign so far here, Jay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's really huge, and, and that's and that's why you see such a big, uh, a big di disparity in a lot of the poll numbers. Is that she's just been pounding him with negative ads for the last two months, and Donald Trump hasn't been at up, up at all on the airwaves. And that worked in the primaries. He didn't spend hardly any advertising. He just did all pay, uh, earned media, cable TV hits, and that really worked for him in the primaries. But in general election, it hasn't been working for him, which is why he's if, finally if, buying some 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 TV. If, if he stays on message. That's going to equate to a lot of dollars as well, though. He can go on TV and get the coverage. Hillary has not had a press conference. Hillary is not doing the same thing as far as public speaking goes. That's going to go a long way and help balance and it, it out. And it has so far. Will, will it make it up? No. It, but will it cut the margin? Absolutely. Hari, uh, should the Clinton campaign be concerned about now this push on ad spending from the, the Trump campaign in swing states? No, I don't think so. I mean, again, they, they've spent more on themselves than they have on TV. But, and uh, frankly, to, to O'Brien and, and Jay's point around field spending, uh, they've spent $400,000 in July on field, uh, on field staff. Uh, they spent $1.5 on hats. So I don't think the Clinton campaign is very worried about that right now. Jay Newton Small, Hari Savugan, O'Brien Murray, thank, thank you, you all three for being with us on a Sunday. Thanks, Richard. Sure. All right. That does it for this hour of MSNBC Live. I'm Richard Louie in New York City. I'll see you back right here at 4 p.m. Eastern. But my colleague, Chanel Jones, picks things up right after the break.